Elon Musk says SpaceX could face a genuine risk of bankruptcy. What's happening? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Damn! SpaceX is currently developing its next rocket, Starship, the vehicle designed to take both crew and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond. However, to fulfill the target deadline, SpaceX will need to resolve its engine production issues. The company is having trouble with the production of its Raptor engine, a full-flow staged combustion methane engine for the Starship vehicle. The production issues have become even more pronounced as Musk outlined in a recent email sent to employees at SpaceX. He wrote, Unfortunately, the Raptor production crisis is much worse than it had seemed a few weeks ago. As we have dug into the issues following the exiting of prior senior management, they have unfortunately turned out to be far more severe than was purported. There is no way to sugarcoat this. Musk, who is known as a workaholic, actually planned to take a break this Thanksgiving weekend, but these issues changed that plan. I was going to take this weekend off as my first weekend off in a long time, but instead, I will be on the Raptor line all night and through the weekend. The senior management mentioned here is likely referring to Will Heltsley, former SpaceX senior vice president of Propulsion. As CNBC reported, he left Raptor production due to a lack of progress. Heltzley's departure demonstrates the intense pressure on the engine's development, given the key role it plays in Starship's success. In addition, former SpaceX Vice President of Mission and Launch Operation Lee Rosen and Senior Director of Mission and Launch Operations Rick Lim have left the company as well. Raptor engine production is now being led by Jacob McKenzie, who has been with the company for over six years. Hmm. I wonder if the leadership changes are a sign of the coming dark times of SpaceX. On the other hand, Musk also mentioned the importance of Starship for Starlink version 2. He continued the email asking employees for all hands on deck. Unless you have critical family matters or cannot physically return to Hawthorne, we will need all hands on deck to recover from what is, quite frankly, a disaster because the consequences for SpaceX if we cannot get enough reliable Raptors made is that we then can't fly Starship, which means we then can't fly Starlink Satellite V2. Falcon has neither the volume nor the mass to orbit needed for Satellite V2. Satellite V1 by itself is financially weak, while V2 is strong. In addition, we are spooling up terminal production to several million units per year which will consume massive capital, assuming that Satellite V2 will be on orbit to handle the bandwidth demand. These terminals will be useless otherwise. These newer satellites are larger than the V1.5 satellites that SpaceX has been flying recently. The company has been able to save money by being its own launch provider. In Musk's statement, however, the most notable thing is that Satellite V1 by itself is financially weak. Even on Starlink user terminals alone, the company was losing almost $1,000 per customer at first. The company has since brought costs down and launched a new user terminal, but it was operating at a major upfront loss in order to build a customer base for the satellite internet constellation in low Earth orbit. That's not even considering the millions per Falcon 9 launch and the actual cost of the satellites in orbit, which Musk is saying will improve with V2 and Starship. But enough about that, let's talk about the big issue, SpaceX's CEO warning about the risk of bankruptcy. Musk closed out the email with a dire message. What it comes down to is that we face a genuine risk of bankruptcy if we can't achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year. The email came, of all the times it could have, over Thanksgiving weekend, a time when people are trying to spend precious moments with their families and are instead being called back to address Raptor production issues. This is truly bizarre, but in this situation that's so serious, it must be difficult to deal with. But one thing is for sure, Starship is essential to SpaceX's future. While Falcon 9 is the current workhorse of the company and has been wildly successful, the move to a fully reusable rocket will allow SpaceX to launch even more payloads at a lower cost. If it can see success, the Starship test program happens out in the open. 
where onlookers can see the company's successes and failures. The exploding earlier prototypes drew a lot of attention before the successful flight of SN15, but the company still has a long way to go before it has a successful orbital test, let alone a solid production schedule for Starship. The flight every two weeks for Starship next year seems like an ambitious goal. So to say, the company will face a genuine risk of bankruptcy if the company cannot achieve that flight rate. Like I said before, if it happens, SpaceX will truly enter the dark ages. An industry expert commented on the email, and SpaceX's development style. When your goal is to blow up and break stuff, you spend way more. Learn more and build a great product, but the cost is way higher. Although SpaceX's style is rather unique in the industry, it has nonetheless led the company to success. Musk is sharing the pressure that the timeline is necessary to keep the company on its ambitious path without scaling back operations that aren't profitable yet. Besides that, this man has also recently been pulling his money out of Tesla stock. While some of this was pre-scheduled and he used a Twitter poll to guide his decision, it is possible he could use this to personally fund SpaceX to address any possible financial difficulties within the company. Starship is an ambitious project with an aggressive timeline that SpaceX believes makes up for decades of lost time toward progressing in space exploration and more importantly to Musk, making life multi-planetary and no one should leave with the takeaway that spacex's commercial crew and commercial cargo contracts are at risk nor should one use this to make the case that the human landing system contract should not have been awarded to spacex remember the last time this much pressure was put on spacex was shortly after they sent astronauts to the space station for the first time and don't forget how much success spacex has achieved since then and that's all the information that we have for you today. If you like what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Another way you can show us how much you love us is by giving us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribing if you haven't already, and hitting the bell so you never miss out on future episodes of Great SpaceX. Be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Pretty exciting stuff, right? SpaceX going bankrupt. Who would have thought? Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.